Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over everything about the deadlift. Um, it's a common misconception that the deadlift is potentially bad for your back. I'm going to show you how to do it and why it's one of maybe the best things for your back. So let's go over the setup first. So first we're going to be looking at where our hips are going to be sitting. So ideally we actually want that bar to start underneath our scapula because that's going to be the easiest way to tell where our hip should be sitting. So you can see on the left, I have that bar underneath the scapula and on the right, my hips are higher. The bar will be away from my body and it won't be underneath the scapula, it'll be underneath my shoulders. So next we're going to look at the foot and arm position. So ideally you want the hands just outside the knees. Then we're going to look at a, around a 15 degree toe flare. This will help with our leg drive later. So now that we've gone over the setup, now we're going to actually talk about lifting the bar off the ground. So we want to keep that bar over the middle of our foot. So the bar has the least distance to travel. We're actually trying to keep that barbell as tight to our body as possible. You can see here how that bar is lining up with the scapula like I talked about earlier. And that bar is staying tight to my body the whole way up. So now we have the lowering of the bar. So what we're doing here, we're actually just doing the opposite of the, on the way up. So we're pushing our hips back and then bending our knees. So that bar is staying tight as it possibly can on the way down as well. So this is key now. We want to keep a neutral spine. So to do that, I like to use the cue tucking your armpits in to engage your lats. So see, you can see there I have a nice neutral spine before I pull that bar. So before we actually initiate the pull, we got to tuck the lats in. Then we're going to initiate something called the leg drive. So initiating the leg drive, we're actually thinking about pushing the floor away from us, kind of like a leg press, if you will. This is key to use your legs in the lift and create a lot more power. So next we have external rotation of the hip. So what we're actually trying to do here is actually take our feet and pretend we're ripping the floor apart. That's going to help drive our knees out as we're pulling up that bar and create a little bit more torque in the side of your hips and create a little bit more power. So next we have the grip. So we can do an over under grip or an over over grip. I'll show both here. So this is personal preference. I find that I can have a little bit more grip strength using an over under grip. Now, if you're failing the lift because of grip strength, I highly recommend straps or using chalk or liquid chalk to help you increase your deadlift numbers. All right, it's time to put it all together. So we have that bar starting over the middle of our foot. We're going to tuck in the lats. We're going to drive the hips forward. Really floor press that floor away from you as you're driving with that leg drive. And then keep that bar tight. And there you have it. If performed correctly, the deadlift is one of the best exercises to actually strengthen your low back. Start with lightweight, master the form, and then gradually increase the weight, never sacrificing form. So now, as you can see, Performing the deadlift with proper form is a very effective exercise for your time as it's working your whole body with one movement. It also helps with injury prevention. The deadlift increases your strength around your muscles, your tendons, and ligaments, supporting joints with these strong muscles, especially in the hamstrings and the lower back. Now I'd like to go over some common errors found in the deadlift that could be potentially harmful. Hips popping up too quickly. Now, even though it is slight, that little hip pop actually takes all the effort out of your legs and takes it into your low back. And yes, this is where injuries can occur in the deadlift. Next, we're going to be looking at something called knee valgus. So this is actually when your legs drive into the floor, your knees actually start to collapse in a little bit. This may be due to poor glute medius or its lack of external rotation of the hips and forgetting to rip the floor apart as we push into the ground. Another common error is not keeping the bar tight enough to your body. Okay, like I talked about earlier, we need to keep that bar tight. So here I'm actually starting with that bar a little bit away from my body and I'm not gonna be using as nearly as much leg drive and be pulling with that low back and the mid back. See how that rounding right there? And yes, this is potentially harmful to your back. Well guys, hopefully that helped out your deadlift a little bit. If you have any further questions, please comment below and uh, please subscribe for more uh, informational content about nutrition and exercises. Thanks guys.